Well, welcome to Allen's Day. We're going sort of a shop walk here. Uh, we've got what we have is our gooseneck adapter. We've got a couple of videos out there. Uh, not very good. Uh, someday we're going to put a better video together. But uh, we've got a gooseneck adapter that's almost ready for shipping here. We've just got everything roughed in, put on the pallet here. Uh, we've got to finish uh, tying it up. So gooseneck adapter. Uh, this is a product line that we put together and it is to convert your 10,000 GVW bumper pull trailer into a uh, gooseneck. Uh, this gooseneck assembly, shipping weight on here is uh, approximately 850 pounds. Uh, that seems like a lot of weight to be putting in on your, uh, adding on to your bumper pull trailer, but you got to remember that now that you've converted this over to a gooseneck, you have the capabilities to add a lot more pin weight to it, so that will offset the weight of the unit. Um, but the biggest uh, factor is going to be you're going to be able to tow down the road, in my opinion, a whole lot safer. Uh, for me and bumper pulls, uh, bumper pull trailers scare the hell out of me. Uh, not too long ago, I got into a death wobble on a three quarter ton pickup truck with a uh, bumper pull trailer behind me. Um, never want to happen that again. So I stay away from bumper pulls as much as possible. Uh, and we're going with the goosenecks here. We switched some of our trailers over to the goosenecks. Uh, so, uh, just to show you a little bit of some of the features that we have on here, we've got a bulldog um, gooseneck hitch on here, which is very heavily overrated uh, for what you need on here. This is a 25,000 pound with a 7,000 pound weight on there, which you will never put on there with uh, the setup we have here. So like I said, this is recommended for a, and designed for a 10,000 GVW bumper pull to make the conversion. Uh, so we've got the uh, Bulldog uh, on the front here. We've got our breakaway system already set up um, on here. And that breakaway system is set all the way, going all the way. The wires are just run through here. And we've got our battery for our breakaway right down into here. Uh, so we have that set up. Uh, also the wiring. We have it all pre-wired that We've got a cord here. They've got this tied down here now, but you'll plug into here with this cord and this will plug into the bed of your truck so that you, uh, you're all set up for hooking up to uh, plug in. Uh, lights. With these uh, lights on here and some of the electrical, we uh, take and test all the units before we ship those out. We've got our electrical test box here. We plug this into here and uh, we go through and we check this and then we put the uh, trailer plug into here and right now we got it set for the tail lights so we've got the uh, 12 tail light circuit here and on the running light circuit this is where we have the uh, bottom lights hooked on right here so that's right there you got your bottom lights hooked up so uh, just a little extra feature that we have. On here is the uh, electrical is all set up and ready to go. So uh, we tried to think of all the different things that we'd want to have on here and some of the lighting it was, uh, came up on the list is what we had. Uh, we've also got uh, reflective tape on here, on the sides here. 
and we also have a uh, tie down areas on here where you can you can tie off to the side of here you can hook a jack strap into here you've got the capabilities to utilize this top deck on here and uh, you can tie onto here um, and there again with everything forward you're uh, utilizing the capabilities of uh, the gooseneck on there so you can load up a little heavier on the front end just make sure that uh, you don't overdo it and you you know what your truck can handle uh, some of the other features on here we've got uh, the heavy-duty safety chains uh, welded on here and coming around to the back side here we've got a uh, extra storage area in here Whatever you want to utilize that area for, it's either batteries or LP tanks. Uh, there's no provisions for mounts or in there. That's something you'll have to come up with uh, for whatever you want to do. Um, and right there, we've got on the website, we've got uh, some information on there also uh, as far as this unit here. Um, also part of the wiring system on here. This is where you would plug in your existing bumper pull trailer wiring. You would plug into here, and then they would. We have our extension cord going to the front. Um, one thing we don't have is a real in-depth install video on how this goes together. That's something we'll get uh, get at some particular point. But just to give you the basics on here of how to install this. You want to get this gooseneck as tight to the trailer as possible when you hook this on here, just to shorten that distance of uh, leverage pulling up. And when you set it up, you want to set this up uh, slightly downhill a little bit uh, so that when you load this up completely, everything's loaded up that sitting level. Uh, and the way you do that is we've got this assembly right here this is on a series of adjustable holes that we can you hook your ball of your bumper pull here and you can move this hole pattern back and you can move this up and down and that will adjust the tip that you're going to put on there uh, also we got a series of holes on here for mounting onto your uh, existing a-frame on the trailer uh, typically it's the uh, two by six tubing is what these uh, bolt onto um, or the uh, two by five tubing and some of the components that uh, are packaged up and put in here uh, let's just dig through the box here a little bit. Uh, here's the uh, the jack that goes right on the front. That way you have a, uh, I think this is a 5,000 pound. It's the heaviest one we could get, the uh, bulldog jack to go on the front. And you also still have the capabilities to keep your existing uh, bumper pull jack. Uh, we got some mounting brackets here. Uh, these are the important part of the whole project. And they're tied down here right now. They got them screwed down to the pallet here. But this is the reinforcement tube for your A-frame. So that when you uh, put that extra load on there, um, you're not stressing out your A-frame as much. Uh, so you've got your, this goes on the bottom side of the A-frame. Currently it's upside down. We've got our hanger brackets here. This will go this is set up right now for a two by six uh, tubing where this will go over the uh, existing rail and that will clamp this tube in place uh, right here is the mounting bracket that goes on the sides of your a-frame and this is all set up right now with uh, grade 8 bolts uh, this all just clamps right onto the side of your uh, side of your a-frame uh, These two center holes are for a 2x5 and then your these outside ones are for the 2x6s 
And what else? Got in the box here. Oops, let's, uh, we've got our uh, mounting brackets to go on the sides, and this is where we've got a little bit of flexibility. Right now, there's uh, you can see that there's shims. Oops, there's some shims right here or uh, bushings. And that, that'll allow you to put this bracket either like this or like this on this side or flip it this way. Uh, so you have four different options on how you can mount onto this channel here which will be able to move this bracket different directions so that you can uh, get this uh, pushed back as far as you can to the trailer. So we've got a couple of these in the box. Here we go. These are some uh, brackets here that these bolt onto the sides and this will uh, uh, for your battery support brackets. So we tried to think of everything that you needed to get this set up on there but bottom line when it comes to hooking this up uh, just gonna have to use a whole lot of common sense and uh, it'll go together pretty well for you so so thanks for uh, coming along with this uh, shop walk on this gooseneck adapter like I said uh, at some point we've got to get an install video put together on these adapters uh, on how to set these up uh, but here's what you get uh, when we ship this out. So we got this one that's, uh, they're almost ready, but I got all their packaging tore apart on there and all the guys will have to package it up. We've got to finish banding and shrink wrapping and putting the bolts and stuff on there. And then we've got a, another one over there that uh, just got ordered. We got to get that one prepped and ready to go. So uh, thank you for uh, coming along with me on the shop walk here. Thank you for watching Alan's Day. Life is about making choices. Some things are already perfect. Some things you may choose to upgrade. This channel will show you both. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again.